friends today through this video we are going to learn how we can do wiring of a main distribution board this distribution board i have this is 12 way distribution board and in this you can see i connected a two pole mcb this two pole mcb here this is our main mcb after this i connected a rccb here this rccb will provide protection from electric shock that is in our home everyone will remain safe from electric shocks for this i connected a rccb here after this you can see here i have a special type of relay like you must have seen voltage in our homes sometimes suddenly it gets increased and suddenly gets decreased in this condition electrical equipments in our home may get damaged to protect these equipments in our home i installed under voltage and over voltage protection relay here now as many number of rooms are there in home accordingly we use number of single pole mcbs it means through one single pole mcb we give power supply to one room right now i have three single pole mcbs this means i am going to do wiring of three rooms friends you must have know about mcb about rccb also you have a idea but this special type of relay which we are using let's understand something about this first after then we will start the wiring Look this lamp i have consider this as power supply of your home i am turning on the power supply right now voltage in our home is 213 volt it is 226 volts okay you can see power supply of our home is on if suddenly power supply of your home goes high i increased voltage here now it is 245 volts when voltage increases lamp will turn off automatically this relay here is turning off the lamp it means relay provided protection from over voltage now similarly voltage in your home suddenly decreases first of all i am normalizing the voltage so that lamp can turn on you saw when voltage got normal our lamp turned on now if i decrease voltage from here that is if suddenly there is a drop in voltage then in this condition lamp will turn off automatically that is power supply in our home will automatically turn off from this you can conclude this relay is providing protection from over voltage and under voltage both now let us move on to wiring of this distribution board look energy meter which is there in your home from that energy meter two wires are coming to our home one is for phase supply for phase supply we always use red wire for neutral power supply a black wire is there now take these two wires and through a hole like you can see here in this box here a hole is given open this hole after opening the hole insert these wires from here after this take phase supply and neutral supply and first of all with the main mcb connect these wires with this mcb in this mcb we can connect incoming power supply below side as well as we can connect on upper side also but in this mcb a symbol is made here meaning of this symbol is you have to connect phase supply on upper side terminal only so bring this phase supply and this first terminal here connect wire with this terminal after this take neutral wire and connect with second terminal so this is our incoming power supply now this mcb here from output terminal of this mcb where we get phase supply connect a wire i am connecting this red wire through this mcb output power supply which goes we have to connect this with rccb when you look towards this rccb then here it is written n where n is written you have to connect neutral power supply there and where nothing is written with that terminal you have to connect phase supply now here a lot of people do mistake that rccb here sometimes they connect input power supply upper side and sometimes they connect at lower side you should be aware of this thing for this this rccb here on this rccb a diagram is there when you look at this it is written 1 2 n n where 1 is written there you have to connect phase supply now here 1 is written it means upper terminal here on this side with this right hand side terminal we have to connect phase supply so i am taking this wire and connecting with this terminal so let's connect this wire with this terminal now this neutral terminal here with this neutral terminal connect one more wire for neutral always use black wire now take this wire and rccb here connect neutral power supply with this rccb so i am connecting this here now in this rccb from output terminal power will be supplied to this relay 
in this relay you can see at upper side in is written and at lower side out is written so input power supply will be connected at upper side so first of all let us connect neutral power supply here for neutral i am connecting black wire here now take this wire and connect with n terminal here n is written so with this terminal i am connecting this wire now face terminal of this rccb on this terminal connect one more wire after connecting this end of wire take other end now here l is written so with this terminal you have to connect face wire i am connecting this wire here now from this relay output power supply we will get take face supply of this and connect with single pole now these single pole mcbs here to connect these along with this distribution board you will get this type of bus bar now what you have to do cut this bus bar as per the number of single pole mcb cut this bus bar i am not cutting this right now because i am just showing you temporary how to do connection in place of this i am using a wire if you don't have this type of bus bar for doing connection in this then simply take any wire i am using this wire what i will do these three terminals of mcb here i will connect these with each other that is i am looping these through a wire so in these three mcb here these lower terminals are now connected through a wire if you have more number of single pole mcb with you then in the same way loop the wire from here to all the mcb now in this relay output terminal here where l is written connect one wire with this terminal on this terminal you will get phase supply remember this now take other end of this wire and to these three mcb provide phase supply for this i already did the looping of wire now i just have to connect wire with any one point among these so i'm connecting wire with this terminal now output terminal of this relay where you will get neutral power supply with this terminal connect a black wire after this take other end of this black wire and neutral bus bar here this is our neutral bus bar with this we have to connect neutral power supply so take this wire and do the connection with this bus bar so i am connecting this also now all the neutral power supply needed in our home all these connections will go from this bus bar only friends in our home apart from phase supply and neutral supply there is one more wire and we call it earthing wire take this earthing wire and bolts here this one and this one with these two bolt we have to connect this in some of the distribution board you will get this type of bus bar in which we have to do earthing connection if this type of bus bar is there then do the connection of earthing here if in your distribution board there is no bus bar then connect with the bolt so i am bringing this wire from here and with this bolt here i am connecting this wire as i told you in the starting this distribution board i have i will use this to turn on and off power supply for three rooms now from all the three rooms total nine wires will come like this among these three wires are of neutral power supply for neutral power supply i used black wire after this green wire will be used for earthing and finally for phase supply red wire is used three rooms are there so we have three wires now i am putting all the wires in this distribution board okay all wires are in first of all take the earthing and this earthing terminal here connect wires with this after this neutral power supply wires we have take these wires and bus bar here connect with this bus bar so i am connecting this also now take phase supply wires of room and connect with all these mcb so i am taking this wire and connecting with this last mcb after this i am connecting this wire with second mcb now this wire is left i am connecting with first mcb okay friends connection of this distribution board is completed now i will show you practically how it works before this put back the cover of this distribution board okay now we will do the testing of this distribution board look power supply which is going from here for three rooms i did the connection of this with these three lamps we have three lamp let us consider this lamp is room number 1 this is room number 2 and this is room number 3 okay now i am turning on power supply of this distribution board after turning on this turn on this rccb also when you turn on this power supply goes to relay you can see right now it is showing voltage as 247 volts 
So in this distribution board, we can check voltage also. And through this relay, we are definitely getting protection. Now what I will do, this first MCB here, I am turning on this. After turning on this, this lamp here turned on. It means power supply of first room is on now. Let us turn on power supply of second room also. After this, when we turn on MCB of third room, then you can see light of third room is also turned on. Now in this RCCB, you can see a push button is given. Once in a month, you have to press this push button to check that whether RCCB connected here is working properly or not. So friends, through this relay, how we get protection in our home, I already explained you. Friends, for protection of motor, how to do connection of voltage monitoring relay with DOL starter, if you want to learn this, then click on the right hand side video to watch. Thanks for watching this video.